Right, in the last video on matrices, we looked at invariant points. Now we're going to look at invariant lines of a matrix transformation. So, if we have a point, a uh, transformation, call it M of T, um, and we apply that to some point X Y on an invariant line, it's going to go to some other point that we call X prime Y. Uh, x prime, y prime, um, and the key to note here is that although x does not necessarily equal x prime, and y is not equal to y prime, y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, it's on some line, and y prime is equal to m uh, x prime plus c, and the m and c in both these equations are the same so this m is equal to this m and this c is equal to that c okay so the point is although it might move to a different line a different point on the line the transformation keeps every single point on this line on the same line so what can we do with this well we want to solve for m and c to find this invariant line so we have to get rid of the x and y really from this equation and then get some simultaneous equations in m and c. So the first thing we can do is we can easily get rid of the y here. So we know the matrix transformation of x and then we can write y as mx plus c is equal to x prime y prime. Okay so now this is going to give us a formula for we're going to get equations for x prime and y prime in terms of m, x, and c. Then what we can do is substitute these values of x prime and y prime into this equation here. All right, and then we'll be able to equate coefficients and solve for m and c. So the best way to go through this is to look at an example. So the matrix we're going to look at um, is the matrix 2, 3, 0, 1, and we want to find the invariant line. So we want to find all possible combinations of M and C such that X, MX plus C is equal to X prime, Y prime, such that uh, y prime is equal to m x prime plus c. Okay, so we're going to multiply this out. We get two x plus three m x plus c is equal to x not squared is equal to x prime. Then we get zero times x plus mx plus c is equal to y prime. Okay, now we're going to substitute that into here. Uh, but first we're going to... Yes, yeah, so we're going to substitute that into y equals... Uh, y prime equals mx prime plus c. So we get mx plus c is equal to m 2x plus 3mx plus 3c plus c. We'll just simplify this a little bit. We'll get mx plus c is equal, well, multiply in the brackets, is equal to 2 and m and then plus 3m squared x um, plus 3mc plus c. I just wanted to group up the, um, the x and c terms so that when we compare coefficients that's easier. So comparing x coefficients we get m is equal to 2m plus 3m squared. Subtracting m from both sides gives us 3m squared plus m is equal to naught. This implies m multiplied by 3m plus 1 
is equal to 0 which gives us m equals 0 or m is equal to minus 1 third ok so these are possible gradients now we need to find the corresponding intercepts for these lines um, and when we compare c coefficients or constants I uh, shouldn't call it c that's misleading because it's not the coefficients of our particular constant it's just const right c is equal to 3 mc plus c well these c's cancel each other out so the equation we get is 3 mc is equal to 0 so when m is equal to 0 well it doesn't matter what c is c can just be any real number so that lets us know that any line of the form y equals c is invariant and that's for all c in the real numbers so any line that's just got a constant y coordinate a straight line um, is an invariant line and this makes sense because if you look at this transformation when we multiply by the y coordinate we get zero x contribution and we just multiply one by the y so um, that line is not going to be moved it's just going to stay as a flat line anyway so the next thing to consider is when m is equal to minus one third and that implies that c is equal to zero because if we've got three times minus one third well the only thing that makes this equation zero is if c is zero so that means the line y is equal to minus one third x is invariant and it's key to note when we say invariant we mean under 2, 3, 0, 1 ok so kind of a line that's just invariant in general it's invariant under the transformation that's it for this video hopefully um, this makes sense it's a little bit more complicated than finding invariant points but I, I think the method is um, sensible it's not something you can't get to grips of. If you do have any questions or any examples you want me to look through, be sure to message me or put it in the comments down below. Um, yeah, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series on A-Level Further Maths and we have a series made in the summer on matrices if you want to look at that. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.